How do you do full screen, guys? I don't know how to use PowerPoint. How do I do full screen? <sighs> Who said F5? Here we go, guys. We're going to quickly touch up on what Brishaza means. She's coming in December. Granted, it's mid-December before Christmas, maybe early December. I don't know, but we have two months to prepare. I've said that on stream multiple times in my previous videos. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, then what's wrong with you? Hit the red button down below, whatever. It will change the Arkeesians of NAEU South America. How? That's what we're going to talk about in this part one of many series. We're going to get a soft reset, guys. What the hell is a reset? Hard reset is... Is something we've gone through you go from tier one to tier two your tier one gear they're no longer relevant we go to tier three gems a day may come when tier four is planned or announced that's in the future but for now breshaza just means a soft reset and that's what we're gonna get ready for breshaza is tier three soft reset 2.0 what does 2.0 mean 1.0 already happened you've experienced it with Aragos skier you went from purple or blues to legendary and that cap in nau south america at plus 20 in korea plus 25 and then you transition into to relic gear okay so you experience like 1.0 1.1 but we're gonna get 2.0 now here we go these are the new materials that i briefly touched up on the roadmap video so we're gonna have this vendor in punica we have it already you can convert your little pequeño little boys so we convert the little boys into the medium boys and the medium boys into a little bit bigger medium boys that's coming with brechaza that's the new leap stones 1490 now you see these new icons that's the materials that we need in order to hone the Breshaza gear. It's a soft reset. If it was a hard reset, remember? Tier 1 materials that are bound, we just trash them, right? But we're not gonna trash these. We can convert them. The bound ones, why I say bound? Because the tradable ones may still have some worth where you can sell them in the auction house, but for now, bound ones, I'm going to transition them into the Breshaza match. So if you have bound mats from doing bonus looting, I'm gonna use them to convert into the next one, five into one of these. There'll be new materials that we will pump into the market. And of course, they're gonna be expensive initially. And we have to, what? Capitalize that, boys. How? By getting our roster to 1490. Our main, our secondary, third. Don't FOMO, take it slow. You will not be too late. I've experienced this three times now with a con. I don't have six characters farming a con mats and it's still okay. Anyways, we're gonna capitalize this in some form, whether it's one, two, three, four, or six characters or 12 characters at 1490 pumping these new mats with the chaos dungeons and the guardians as well as the new tickets they provide boss rush hard as well as cube hard the new boss rush hard mode and cube hard mode will drop more masterpieces remember alt is power because chaos dungeons and guardians mainly the chaos dungeons okay we have the 1490 boys the south Vern brishaza chaos dungeons we're most likely gonna get the 1490 as well as the 1520. And then with Breshaza Hard, we're gonna get the 1540 as well as the 1560. We have these new mats here that drop. We're not gonna get a lot of them, but as you can tell, the more characters you have 1490, you're pumping these out as well as the Leap Stones. Shards remain the same because it's a soft reset. Silver is silver. You might still get a little bit of legendaries here, but once we get to here, we'll not get legendary accessories. Completely gone. We'll be getting Ancient as well as Relic and better tripods as we go higher and higher and higher. More shards. And all that jazz. Same with the Guardians. We're gonna get Caraligos. They're gonna give these rocks as well as the new mats. You wanna do them as well as bracelets. Same in Chaos Dungeons. You're not gonna get a lot of them because these are the little baby Breshaza Chaos Dungeons. Bracelets can net you extra gold because. Some people will FOMO, some whales will buy them. Bracelets will be, for most people, money makers. For FOMO Andes and people that don't know what they're doing, they're going to lose a lot of money and gold from bracelets. But for most of us that follow me on Twitch, we're going to make money off bracelets. New market price is going to spike. You want to capitalize on that. Remember when Aragos was new and those class accessories came out, like Rudge, Kaijutsu 3, with 100 quality. I sold that for 130k back in the day, and I bought 80 legendary books in NA. Grudge, Crystal, Kaijutsu, Remaining Energy in one sitting you want to capitalize this but you feel like there's a video about this that everyone's gonna be 49 i don't care we're never gonna pump enough mats in korea same people said the same thing oh but if everybody is you know 1580 then uh you know the mats not gonna be expensive well map price keep going up because we're not pumping enough mats into the system the demand is higher than the supply next thing i want to talk about with brechaza that's gonna change 
us is for the free to play and as well as those that want to really min max your economy your gold your time and in-game money we're gonna get free plus 20 item level now you may be thinking this is some click bait bullshit hell no remember i made a video about stopping honing at 1490 or at 21 which is 1505 so i'm gonna show you firsthand what happens with this shoulder piece that is the relic we have in naeu south america we're gonna talk about bread shots and rewards so with these rewards we're gonna get free item level how first of all we're gonna craft it we're gonna get these new it's not new sets but it's just higher bread shaza sets so if you're entropy you just get the bread shaza entropy they look a little bit different here we go i'm gonna craft this 40 one of these 1000 gold bam now we have the new tripod system in korea so i have to tinker with the tripods i'm gonna go directly into this click on the new bread shaza 1390 tier 3 shoulder pad that i just crafted now we have the old relic that we got from baltan as well as vikas so we're gonna transfer it over cost a little bit of silver however it goes from plus 20 to plus 12. now don't be like oh my god zeus my eye level is gonna go down no in this game your eye level don't go down now i get this question so many times does bike quality go anywhere no they stay with you from relic so here we go guys from 1490 plus 20 it goes to 1510 if you do the math that's 20 free item levels that is why in lost ark plus 20 is mad efficient so i just gained four item levels off one brush as a piece this is why i teach you guys these strats man and i'm gonna hone this we get to enjoy the juicy honing odds so if we do that on every single piece you go from 1492 1510 so that's just free 20 eye levels without any honing just by doing one and two on your oats every week you don't have to hone to do three and four if you just take your time and just do gate one and two and all your alts are gonna get 20 free item levels i know taking it slow not fomoing it's always the way my friend if you want to be saving everything now here are the conversion rates zoom in my editor will zoom in so as you can see the plus 20 is a 1490 with a three percent honing rate three percent remember but it goes up to six percent without juice with juice nine percent now once we get the bread shaza pieces it goes to plus 12 15 10 eye level conversion so we gain 20 item levels but the honing odds go to 10 percent capping out at 15% without juice and with the solars 20% not that you want to use solars here so you're gonna enjoy higher honing rates which will accelerate us to 1520 to enjoy bread shots of five and six if we take the time we're talking about alt still now if you're 21 you're 1505 your honing rate is three percent but you'll convert to plus 13 and you'll enjoy 10% honing which ramps up to 15% without juice that means you also artisan faster at these lower levels if you're a plus 25 and yeah, you gain something. You get five eye levels. You just have to do one home to get to 1590. You enjoy the 1.5%, which ramps up to 3%. And with the solar's 4.5%, you will want to know that because most people will just hone their weapon to get the glow back, the 25 white glow, the sperm glow. Huh? They want it back. All right. So that's what I'm going to do with the new honing rates. Let's do it together. Why not? Okay. Less shards. 21. Ah, 57. What about this one? Remember, this one's higher. This one's plus 21. This was plus 20, but the shard requirement is lower. And then we're going to use the new mats. All right. This is the new oreha. In Korea, it's called sangup oreha. It's just like a higher grade. You're going to do a research for it in your stronghold. So in order to craft 20, you're going to need these archaeology. If you want to know more, just join me on Twitch, okay? TLDR, you just need more mats. I don't know what you're doing in terms of life skill to farm oreha. But whatever you like to do, whether it's fishing, archaeology, whatever it is, go farm more of them. Now, you may be thinking, whoa, Zeus, new mats could be expensive. That's right. But if you played your alls long enough, you're going to have those bound mats that I talked about, which can convert into the new guardian stones. That's the strat you're going to use to inflate your alts to 1500 so that you can do gate three and four, generating more brush as a horns so that you transition faster into a full 1510. And you're going to transition into the 1520s slowly as well as the new leaf stones five of the old ones equal one of these the lower your item level is now the lower your plus level will be with bread shaza gear right so fuse leaf stones will be more efficient right there enjoy the 10 percent but fuse leaf stones guys it's just luck don't be upset when you don't get the hones and if you want to be efficient on your ults you might want to do them on your armor because they consume less than weapon weapon is 40 so let's do that let's hone this a little bit listen carefully chat if you've initiated the upgrade gear once you hit this button and you transfer the old relic into the brush as a relic you will lose this you will lose 
the thing you just put in as well as the artisan if you're stuck at artisan 30 you have to do the math i can't do the math for you because we don't have the price valuation of the new materials okay ask me a week after bread shards comes out but if you're honing your weapon you already slotted this in those precious shards and silver and you're stuck at artisan 30 or 40 or 50 and you're like bro do i just transfer to bread shards will it transfer over the answer is hell no it's not gonna transfer over once you started it the initial down payment will not transfer over the artisan will not transfer over. Bam, bam. So I start at 10% and it gets 4.65% artisan without any solars. So that's what I want to show you guys. Plus 20 is in any soft reset, whether it's to a con or not, or brush as a hard. Plus 20 is like the soft spot for near maximum efficiency. Okay, next, how to enter gate three and four and five and six. If you don't care about doing five and six, three and four, week one, then I just explain. Do gate one and two. Get all your gear to Breshaza gear. You'll be 1510. And then you can use the new few sleep zones and then maybe hit some armor with it. You're going to enjoy that nice 10%. And it's only 12 instead of the 40 on the weapon. That's how you inflate your eye level efficiency and as cheap as possible. And then we'll get to gradually to 1520 with these new odds. And as the prices go down and with the Unas, where we we get the new stones we'll talk about that in a separate video about unas how i'm going to prepare for this in the na version we'll be able to transition to gate three four and five six now what about your main if you want to do five and six you have to be 1520 three and four is 1500 so battle bands first rushing right i told you the cheap way what's the expensive way well the rushing you're gonna buy those mats in the auction house and they're gonna be worth a lot i showed you this back when i had like 50 to 200 viewers i honed this on stream back then these were for an entire stack 100 and 44,000 gold per stack. My ward answer plus 20 from 19 to 20 bread shots a weapon. I spent 3.1k US dollars. 3.1k US dollars. Why? That's the cost of rushing. Now, how much does it cost now? Well, the destruction zones are one seventh of that price. Actually, lower than that. Let me show you the rocks. These rocks were at the time 250 gold per one. Now, they went all the way down to 22, but they have gone back up because the high end game players are not farming this anymore. So there's less supply. So if you wait, it gets mad, mad cheaper. If you rush, you're gonna pay out the ass. So take note of that, whales. Get ready to whale out, I guess. Now, don't ask me how much the new stones are gonna be worth in NA version. It could be 200, it could be 250, it could be 300, it could be 400, it could be 800. I don't know, because we have bots. Understanding bread shots are raid rewards. So let's check this link right here, guys. Bam. So the total from gate one to six is gonna be 8,500 gold if we're getting the current version from KR. Gate one is 2,000 gold, but the bonus suit of 400 gold right there. So you get six horns. Gate two, you get four here and then four from the bonus loot this is 14 six plus eight is 14 now if you look at the gold we're getting 4500 gold now your brain should start ringing a bell ah oh, my alts if i only do gate one and two i make 4500 gold if i don't bonus loot if i bonus loot i make 3500 gold per alt at 1490 just by doing gate one and two now look at three and four three and four becomes less efficient 700 gold reward bonus suit is 700 and gate 4 is 800 gold reward with bonus suit of 800 they generate the same amount of horns 14 for gate 3 and 4 in total gate 1 through 4 then generates 28 then 5 generates a thousand gold bonus suit is 900 gold which generates six horns with bonus loot and then last gate breshaza herself gives 10 so six gate five with bonus loot 10 for gate six with bonus loots and those are the gold rewards 1500 and the bonus loot is 1100 now you're gonna get a lot of accessories and they're gonna be pretty decent quality as well as bracelets and importantly shards those shards add up it is 100 percent worth bonus looting unless new math comes out we'll see when the math prices come out for NAEU South America. But anyways, so what about the old shoulders? Disassemble them. And then if we get the new system, it should automatically upgrade this to level two. So Cuckoo Satan, the level two. In the old days, it would give us the horns back and then we have to re-upgrade it and it will cost us gold. But they got rid of that, which is good. You don't have to redo clown. Actually, do your clowns now. We don't have that many weeks until Breshaza comes. They give us exact amount of weeks so that by the time Breshaza rolls out, we should be in full level two gear sets. Okay, all right, so where was I? How many horns do we get? 20 plus 16, 44. 
Now, every two gates, there is an auction. So gate two, at the end, there's an auction, gate four, and gate six. If you win all of those, that'll be five per box. So a total of 59 per week. First time clear is 30. Not the whole gate, only gate one. So everybody listening to me right now with characters that are 1490, if you just do gate one and two, you're gonna get from gate one, 30 horns. Peace. And then gate 1 and 2, if you bonus loot, gives 14. 14 plus 30 is 44. And we'll be able to craft a Breshaza armor piece. The weapon will cost 100. These are 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. 100 total of 300 so if you are 15 15 or 15 18 before brush as it comes out you do gate one and two song of escape or finish the raid after gate two go craft your piece it'll be 15 20 so you can do gate five and six because remember brush as a gear if you convert it does give item level so you need to calculate that if you want to go minimum eye level into five and six now in terms of brush as a combat requirements that'll be in a separate video now some people will just be like nah I'm just gonna go into Breshaza patch, 1530, 15 whatever, and I'm just gonna save my horns for weapon. So week two, you cannot get weapon week one. Week two, these people, I'm just gonna say whales because they have to win the auction at the end of gate two, four, and six, right? So they're gonna get enough horns by week two. That's when the free to play sell the destruction stones and make them pay. Cosmic rewards. Yes, there is a cosmetic reward. Fuck, not on the right character. One thing I want to show you guys is the cosmetic reward for killing Bresh as a normal gate six. You have to kill the lady herself and you get this one. This little helmet. The big boy. That's the hard mode. First time clear, you'll get this. Condoms. We'll get condoms. Just like doing normal cuckoo, we'll get the condoms to enjoy the Bresh as a store. And in the Breshaza store, they will sell relic honing books, which will help your alts get to plus 20 old relics, not the Breshaza relics. It refreshes every week. There are more rewards, which we'll talk about in the next video, okay? One thing you need to know is that the condoms, you don't have to do the deja vu. If you clear normal, well, you get the condoms that you would have gotten from deja vu. And with those, make sure to buy the weekly honing relic books, which I need to do right now. I know we don't have the city, right? But uh, here we go. This is the one we have in NAU. You should buy these stuff. The honing books, legendary. Now we also get these relic ones. Help you to plus 20 relic, 1490. I don't think I really missed anything. All I could say is take your time. Take the two and a half months to get your roster ready. Don't be upset if you're not all 1490s. That's not going to happen for most of us. But try to get one or two characters up in there. All right, guys.